Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whatever time zone, whatever time you're watching this. This is the Wix Online meeting number 35. It's August already, which is just kind of crazy. Um, I missed last meeting, as exciting as that was. I'm sure you guys went through bugs and things like that. So let's get into this where we talk about well, what bugs we have left and what we're doing from here on out, which means I should be on the agenda slide, right? Right. All right. So we'll go do triage. We'll go talk about the bugs. We'll talk about what's planned for 3X, and then we'll talk about what's planned for Wix 4, and then always we'll take questions and comments. As always, these meetings are recorded for people that can't make it here in person at this time slot, so just keep that in mind if you say anything, you know, it'll be recorded for posterity. I think that's mostly to you, Bob. Thank you. Um, but, you know, everyone's welcome just jumps in. So, are you ready for triage? I'm set. All right. Triage it is. As usual, I think we'll start from the bottom because those are the old ones. I'm wondering, maybe I should sort these the other way now that they're, I don't know, whatever. Nah, uh, eh, whatever. Anyway, he extracts different registry info on different machines. Oh, yes, that's possible. Have... I'm, I'm assuming that it's actually trying, oh. it, it actually looks at the registry value. Yeah, this is, it, so the difference is the bang and the hash, right? Yeah, so if the registry value on machine A was written in an 8.3 name, it's going to use the bang, right? Yes. I, I mean, that's my assumption. I, I The inner workings of the com harvesting stuff, deep voodoo. Um, yes, so I don't know that we can do much beyond this besides always fix it to being one or the other. Um, oh, God, then we get into the arcane rules of com when short file names are appropriate when they're not. Uh, there, are, uh, there are some rules about that, right? Yeah. Is this something I should worry about? This is really a better question for Wix users at a certain point. Um as Jacob points out, yes, and I agree. They also they have a transform and didn't discuss what that might be about. They're using XSLT. Oh yes, they are. So they could go fix it if they wanted. Um, do we want this in three X? So I don't think we're going to take it in three nine. Certainly not going to take it in three nine. Um, is it? A th I, 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 mean, I want to say it's it's not really a bug it's just kind of how things work it is how things work and you probably should be careful about extracting on different machines and getting different output i mean yes it's always possible it could be even worse than this this is fairly benign yes i, I agree well okay so to answer the the final question is it something i should worry about i don't think so i think it's fine it's based on um as long as things are still working yeah well, I mean, and, you know, a short file name and a long file name, they should be equivalent um, as long as, uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be equivalent. I mean, there's, I guess, technically, you can't end up in a state where you don't have short file names. Um, that's a feature of the file system you can turn off for you know, an infinitesimal perf win, and uh, I see it turn, turned off on a lot of, uh, like, pre-baked VMs because you're obviously consuming some space. For all the short uh, names. For all the short names. Um, but I, 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 I don't think it's a bug. I don't think there's... Uh, could they break it by having another file with similarly... Uh, no, because it's using the file ID, so one is a dollar will must ensure that the file names are unique. Yeah. So this I, is, I don't think I, we're not we're not gener we're generating the yeah you know, the hash like uh, short file names, so that'll be okay. Hmm. Although I guess you could have a long file name. No, because we'll, yeah, I mean, you can have a long or a short file name file that has a collision with a long file name generated name, <laughs> short name. Anyway, no, not likely. 
Um, I, I don't know what to do with this bug. I mean, it's not great that it's changing, but it probably doesn't matter a whole lot. Uh, yeah, I don't think it matters, and if it's a concern, I guess you could add, <laughs> lather on some more XSLT. Yeah. Or, you know, do it once, and don't keep running it. Yeah, yeah, there's that, too. Um, so what are we doing this bug? Not a bug. All right. I'm fine with that, unless anybody else cares deeply about looking for anybody to say yeah all right cool burn command line backwards compatibility to broken I, I don't know why I saw token there um, so yeah Bob and I were talking about this something about a 3.6 dependent on a 3.9 bundle makes things bad And we don't exactly know what's going on here yet. <laughs> Sadly true. Um, however, this bug came from the same person who uh, reported the bug with uh, that pointed to a major regression in burn. So uh, they get uh, bonus points for that. Yeah, bonus points for that, and I'm I'm happy to see that uh, this is getting some attention. Um, Jacob, no, this is. Uh, I think it's unrelated to the change. It's in the same class because it, it's all dealing with uh, the command line getting generated and tossed around. But well, the, it it could be that something else got stomped in taking that change. That's completely fair. Yes, yes. It is possible that a fix or something got lost in the taking of this. But Well, he, he has, so what appears that's happening in this is that the 3.9 bundle is running, there is a dependent 3.6 bundle, so when you do a repair of 3.9, it calls the 3.6 bundle at the end and says, repair thyself. Exactly. So Jacob says 3.9 is calling a 3.6 bundle, and something has changed, or presumably this worked in 3.6, yes, and something has changed in 3.9, maybe 3.8, maybe 3.7, who knows, we don't have that information yet. Um, I guess, which is what Bob asked there at the bottom. Something changed, just that the 3.6 bundles now getting their BA now thinks that they have another install running. And so I think the the ancestors being added with the unknown burn internal command line is a red herring, but I think it may point to the fact that we have changed this command line because that's new and that maybe we dropped something that we used to pass, like we did with the last bug, or something else in here. Um, I don't know, but we need to go figure that out. Figure out what's going on in here. So yeah, this this is probably a bug we need in 3.9. Sadly true. Um, I will, I'll take the bug um, I will see if I can, you know, <laughs> compare 3.6 and 3.9 at the hopefully similar spots and figure out what changed in the, the command line. Uh, it doesn't seem like 3.6 to 3.9 should matter anyway, but yeah. Well, oh, but yeah. if you have a 3.6 bundle doing related, maybe you'll see a command line switch being present that's not present right. now. Right. That's, yeah. that, sorry, that's my assumption is that we dropped a switch somewhere. And that's, that's what, what we did last time? <laughs> well, no, no, no. Last time we didn't drop a switch. We dropped just, you know, the process to run. <laughs> Sorry. We <laughs> dropped a piece of the command line. Perhaps, perhaps an important part. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. No, we didn't We didn't drop anything within the, you know, the set of burn switches that get passed around. Um, uh, so, yeah. It, it, I'm hopeful that, you know, the... The two versions are close enough code-wise to say, oh, okay, yeah, this is this is what we did. Um, also, I'm I'll start with 3.6, but I'm willing to go forward to 3.7, which I'm fairly confident doesn't have this bug, and even 3.8, because yeah, it's probably something that changed. The the burn ancestor switch is new, yeah, and that came from one of Heath's changes. Yeah. So you know, guilty until proven innocent, I guess. 
only because of the last one. Yeah. He's still wearing the 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 whatever hat you have to wear when you look silly because or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. The the bill break hat or whatever it is. Bill break do, do, yes. do other people not have this where you wear like a a really ugly shirt or whatever? It only works when you're in the same place and everybody can point at you and see like a fire giant. I have to mail it to people. You broke yeah, the build here. I'm mailing it to you. That doesn't work so good. I guess we could maybe create like a little avatar for people that broke the build. You get to wear a clown nose or whatever when you see the web. I don't. I got nothing. Anyway, yeah, that, that'll work. That'll yes. Work. So he broke it last. It's in the same place ish. So yeah, you get tagged for a while until proven innocent, which is always possible. Anyway, I think we're in agreement, and I don't know if anybody else. Out there, let's see, but I don't think we can ship three nine with this backwards compatibility broken. Yeah, unfortunately, I agree. The I don't care so much about the command line itself, but on entry, the you know the command structure there should have the same values that it did, you know, in in three three eight. Unless we're purposely seven. breaking it for some reason because it did something bad, but it better have yeah. been for a good reason. And I don't remember a bug like that coming through. No, definitely not. We're missing Cooper. Usually Cooper gives me a plus one or something whenever we say something that makes sense. Makes me feel good. We don't have. Uh, Jacob, money. you are right. The I, I did double check that the engine ignores anything that starts with burn, so it, it's, it's yeah. Not the, and that's the what this, this this message is saying. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's safe. It doesn't. It's not an error. It's not you know a complaint. It's just hey. It's just letting you know that you did something funny. And in this yeah. case, you're passing. The past does not know about the future. But that's the kind of thing we're going to run into, hopefully more and more. Bundles that, you know, were shipped as redistributables. You know, and if they're not being updated. Yeah, I, you know. like, you know, .NET Framework, or not .NET Framework, um, C Yeah. Yep. Anyway, moving on. User-defined payload... Runtime error for Wix standard BA. So on, you always find the good ones. Or <laughs> weird ones, anyway. <laughs> Failed to load UX DLL. That's weird. Uh, I'm pretty sure something is, is causing the payload to show up as the first payload in the UX container. It's the only thing that makes sense. Okay. I can't imagine why. Uh, Watch well, sorting IDs by like alphabetical and W comes after M and therefore yeah. the Wix standard BA comes after the <laughs> my ID. Anyway, who I, knows? I think you would have done better than that. You would think, but yeah, yeah, well. hey, this one might not be my fault. There's always a possibility in burn that it's not my fault. Not a very good possibility, but it's always a possibility. Yes. So, um, so this isn't 3x. It's I, this isn't new, right? This has probably been there since dawn of. Oh, it says 3.8. So yeah, we're not taking this 3.9, right? Um, yeah, it, it's weird, but we did ship with it before. Um, it, it would be. This is the kind of thing where if it, it would be good to you know figure out the fix, prepare it for 3.10. And if it's you know trivial enough, we could bring it in because we are going to have to rebuild when we discover the the command line bug. So it's one of those. If it's trivial to fix, I would take it if we're doing another build, and we are. Um, but otherwise, it's you know if it's not trivial or uh, all right. There we go. And 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 in all of that, Bob commands Sean to say, "I'll take it." Well, I figure if I keep talking long keep enough, eventually... Click this little button that says, take it, which I don't have because I'm not currently signed in because, I don't know, it's lazy this morning. Actually, I was trying to eat my breakfast, but I didn't get there. I wouldn't take that if you wouldn't take the fix, though. Oh, we'll, we'll take the fix. It's just whether it goes in 3.9 or 3.10 is a matter of which side of the integrate to master it has. Yeah, so the <laughs> fix will be... It'll be good to see that fix anyway. Yeah. All right. I, I think, Sean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't prioritize it. Uh, I, I, you know, it's not that big a deal. Um, if it's one of those things that's again easy, you know, trivial. It's a trivial change and easy to fix. Then you know, by all means. But 
unless you you know want to. I wouldn't. It's not a priority for three nine. All this right. All right. Double triage. Back to triage. oh, yeah, triage. Yeah, we did that already. I forgot to move the slide to forward. See what happens one week when I pass it off and I don't get the mojo back. I forgot to mail it back to me, Bob. Um, yeah. All right. Let's talk about the three X plan. Bob. Oh, that's my hint. Right. Sorry, I missed my cue. Uh, so yes, uh, we talked last week about about dates. Uh, the same kind of guideline applies. I'm looking for a couple weeks, a few weeks of, of big time after we make what we think might be the last build for bugs to come in. Um, some bugs we're going to say, yep, that's fine for 310 or 3x. Uh, today we got one that's, you know, that we can't ship. It's stop ship bug. You know, we have to fix this before we can ship. Um, and it's not a concrete thing. We don't know exactly what's going on yet. Uh, so, again, we're kind of looking at, a, you know, say, say I'm, I'm going to do my thing. Maybe I'll find it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll, I'll need follow-up from the poster. And it's something that, that gets fixed, you know, say by Monday. Well, we're going to need another build. That kind of resets our, our bake time, right? So... So, as Sean recommended last week, maybe we should ship on Labor Day to keep up with the holiday theme. And the map, the map, the calendar is kind of working that way right now. Because um, if we take if we take this fix, we get a build on Monday. Well, hey, look, three weeks later. I think that's Labor Day, right? September 1st, isn't it the first Monday? Yeah. So, there it is. Um, that's kind of the target. Uh, but as you can see, we do get bugs, and sometimes they reset our plans. So uh, Labor Day is a nice target based on what we have today. Um, yeah, we could still ship on Labor Day even if we find another bug. Then we start getting into the, you know, how much bake time is a good good idea. Uh, I'm comfortable with three weeks, so today this is Labor Day. Uh, but I, I'm not fixed. You know, Any other uh, opinions out there? Up, down. Yeah, man, I didn't realize how much I miss Cooper. He actually talks in these meetings, in these types. All right, Sean's in agreement. <laughs> that gives me confidence. Jacob gives a plus one. All right, now I'm feeling better. Okay. Wow, look at all those. You got smiley faces. Oh, that's Jacob again. It's like, smiley faces, I guess, is a kind of a plus one. It's like a happy. <laughs> it's that or a, dude, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are kind of wide eyes, aren't they? Or yeah. all eyes. <laughs> Which of course leaves three ten. Yeah, so three ten. Um, you know the the way the branches are set up in uh, the Wix three uh, Git repository, three ten is just going to take over the, the develop branch. There will be no no changes. So. Um, when we ship 3.9, it will it will magically. Rob or I will merge it to master, and master becomes the last uh, shipping release. 3.10 then just magically becomes develop. So to answer, answer Jacob's question, thank you for the nice segue, um, you can continue to work in your, your fork of the Wix 3 repo in the develop branch for 3.10. And you can submit pull requests and all that. Um, we just can't accept them into the develop uh, branch until after 3.9 has merged to master. So if you have something for 3.10, uh, well, if you have something for 3.10, first of all, we should talk about it. Um, I'm still working on my blog post that will talk about, you know, 310 and the life cycle and, yeah, yeah, bug fixes, those are basically going to be, you know, um, open, I think, for 310, uh, again, subject to how complex they are. Um, but the, but, 
the idea is that we are going to try to stay mostly focused on 3.9 until it's gone. So we don't want to have everybody start going, oh, look, let's just go to 3.10. You know, if you have a little bit of time, kicking 3.9 around is probably a great idea, given that we've been finding little things here and there. That's that's completely fair. Yeah, if uh, the, the changes that Firm underwent the most work in this release. So if you have, you know, stuff that you can, you know, validate on, some of the, you know, some of the, some of the stuff is trickier. Like, you know, today's bug is like, oh, you have a, a bundle, it's dependent. We're not exactly sure how it's related, you know, stuff like that. It's like, okay, that's that's going to require some, you know, deeper background. But, um, but yeah, we're not we're not going to, you know, mess with the branches. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see a need for like a release branch or anything. You know, it's just uh, we're we're close enough. It's like we're weeks away, and you know anything that that you know should start in three ten, you can do today against the develop branch. You know, worst case, you're going to have to merge to pick up anything that happens between now and three nine RTM. So. And hopefully that's all small, which means it doesn't collide with stuff you're already doing because it was an easy fix and the end. Yep, yep, absolutely. <laughs> If Please. not, we're <laughs> probably not doing Labor Day. <laughs> yeah. Or we're working on Labor Day to fix the bug, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so at least it's named appropriately in that case. Mm -hmm. All right. So any questions, 3.9, 3.10, that you don't want to save for the end? Going once, going twice. All right. On to four. So four is mostly a talking slide, so I hope you guys brought your 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 talking boots. That doesn't make any sense at all. None, yeah. none whatsoever. Yeah, shooting boots works, but only if you. <laughs> never mind. I got nothing. Anyway, 4.0 plans. So 4.0 is mostly that the only significant changes that happened are from Fire Giant, like the whole inline directory syntax and uh, things like that. I guess I did some stuff to clean up some of our original stuff, but you, it's hard to say that that's major changes. There are plenty of bugs in 4.0 left. But I don't see anybody saying, hey, these are things I want to do in 4.0. These are things I want to write a whip for or otherwise talk about doing in 4.0. Which means 4.0 might not have as much stuff in it beyond, well, you know, the three or four features and all the cleanups and that kind of stuff. Um, so if that's true, okay, I guess. I was expecting more people would be jumping in to do bigger stuff. Um, Ah, right. So Jacob wants to clean up the callback signatures. All right. So, the, so there are questions about getting 3.9 merged to 4.0. Yeah, I, I do those in bulk. I kept hoping 3.9 was going to be done so I could just do it once just because it's kind of annoying to do the big merges between 3.9 and 4.0 and as far as merge conflicts. But again, since we're close to 3.9, I can get around to doing that. So I guess, and if you're doing burn work, that's probably where things are the most different between 4 and 3.9, so that's changing. So anyway, all right, so it sounds like Sean and Jacob might be looking at doing some things. Um, it'd be good to start, if you're going to start doing that, let's do that, because the question will eventually, that I don't think we're going to answer now, but I want people to start thinking about is, um, are we still shipping this year for 4.0? Um, I still think it would be good if we ship this year, just so we don't get back into the habit of going for two years and shipping again. Um, but I, I don't know if that's like maybe we get to a point where we're doing a release candidate this year that basically says, all right, people, 4.0 is coming out. You got to try it. Here's all our migration tools working and all that kind of stuff. Um, some people have started kicking the tires a little bit, which is awesome because some of the bugs that I saw come in the last few weeks are, hey, this doesn't work yet. And I'm like, yeah, that's a known issue, and that's a known issue, and yeah, thank you for opening bugs on those, um, things like that. So anyway, if you're thinking about doing stuff in 4.0, let's start talking about what those things are so that we can start thinking about how much work we have left and how long we're going to and when we're going to get done. Like, is 4.0 going to finish this year? Is it finishing early next year? I don't want us to go ideally too far into next year because then this is another year and a half to two year project which we're trying to slowly get away from um, but we've also been focused on 3.9 so I'm, you know, I, I know that it's like hey we're getting all our stuff fixed at 3.9 so we can come to 4 given that 3.9 may be one of the last major 3x releases from the looks of it so anyway um, any discussions about 4.0 and things like that
Yeah, so Jacob's asking whether we should consider Wix standard BA changes for self-updating bundles. Uh, would uh, so, Bob? That's a question for you. Would should we consider taking self uh, changes to Wix standard BA to support self-updating bundles, or should the standard BA changes be done to four? Uh, so previously we talked about uh, the idea that we would that new features would start in Wix four. Yep. And then we could make the call about whether we would backport them. So I, I think that that's that's a good point. That's probably the easy answer. Is do it in four, and then we can decide if we backport it to three, based yeah. on what kind of changes we see. Yeah, I think I think it makes sense to well, first of all, in four you can complete the change, and you know however you want, the best way you want. No, no, no. Um, however, the best way. Sorry. Yes. Notice I corrected myself. Um, um, and and then you can look at it and go, okay, so what would it take to get this back to three? So for work standard BA and burn, uh, those are going to be fairly compatible just based on the changes that are in, in Wix 4 so far. Yeah. Um, but then you have the backward compatibility things. Yes. Um, so, so, so Jacob, Jacob the changes you have in three, if you, if you want some help getting them over the four branch, I can help you work through the, the Git food to make all that work out. Yeah, because again, the the code is really similar, so I'm I wouldn't anticipate any significant problems. Uh, just not unless you change the extension in a big way or something, the the compiler extension in a big way. Even that hasn't changed significantly in the end. Yes, and three nine three nine will be merged. Honestly, I was kind of hoping that you know we we're like, hey, look, still no bugs, yay! And I'd go, cool, I could do the three nine and probably be the last one versus do a 3.9 integration, then do another 3.9 integration, then do another 3.9 integration, just because it takes some time. But I'll do the 3.9 integration here. Um, if not this week, early next week, just to kind of get that done. Um, that should be the last big one. I hope so. Um, all right, so it sounds like Sean and Jacob have a few things for Foro, which is awesome. Um, if other people are thinking about stuff for Foro, we should start talking about those things. Uh, getting I'd, the like to do some, Go I'd like to do some language cleanup. Yes, I I would love for about, more people to do language done. cleanup. Yes, because because I did a chunk, but not enough. Um, I'm still debating whether I can do binder cleanup. I'd like to. We'll see. Mm -hmm. But uh, all that stuff's invisible from a 4 I mean, from an outside facing point of view, it's invisible except for extensions. I think we have ah. some. And getting rid of the info classes, yes, that's, I would love, oh. maybe we can go <laughs> tag team those, Sean, because those are really, the way that the uh, changes in Wix 4 that were made that are really cool, the info classes go completely against those changes. They're just really bad. So it would be good to get rid of all those info classes and change them into rows and all that kind of stuff. All right, so we have some stuff for 4.0 to get done. That sounds good. Um, those of you that have been thinking about 3.9 or 3x a lot, 3.9 in general, uh, let's finish it. Let's go find you know the final few bugs, continue to kick the tires, use it, and that kind of stuff. That's good. Those of you that are thinking about writing code, start thinking about writing code against 4, less about 3. Yes, some bug fixes 3. And then if there are good things that we do in 4 that we want to take back to 3, we can do that, as per discussion a long time ago, right? That works. Still sound good? What I really need is the um, uh, Kid Beyond has this awesome it's like he just has this yeah that comes out in this one song called Mothership. I just need that as a button or something. You know they have the easy button. It goes that was easy. I need a everybody can push a button. Just go yeah. There we go. Plus plus one. Ooh. I think that's hey. the syntax error. Plus plus one. Without the semicolon syntax error. Yeah, I'll give you that. Well, plus I don't know plus plus against the. A literal? Uh, oh, against a literal. Plus like one. Mm, very good point. Yeah, yeah. Plus plus I, where I is the current statement on the table. <laughs> the current instruction on the <laughs> stack. All right, that's too far. Um, questions, comments, other things people want to talk about. Um, anybody feel like we're completely off the rails? I mean, we're getting close to the end of 3.9, which I think is going to start turning into the end of major work in 3x unless Bob changes his mind but from what I've heard is that 
Uh, no, actually, and because I'm also interested in working on Wix 4, um, my contributions, uh, I, I won't have the urge to, to you know, do some coding in, in necessarily in Wix 3.10. I'll be able to satisfy those urges in Wix 4. Yeah. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, I am, I'm writing a blog post. You know, the, the, the short answer is 3.10 is a platform release. Right. We need something, you know, again, rumor mill says uh, next spring yeah. uh, for the next version of Windows and the next version of Visual Studio. Um, now, the downside is uh, we, well, there are CTPs of, of Visual Studio 14, uh, but they are currently, uh, they're currently called CTPs, and they're, they urge you not to use, put them on production machines. Uh, at least, I think the last release was CTP2. Um, yeah, they went so far as to make Azure VMs available. Right. But there was an explicit, do not put this on a production machine because it might break your existing Visual Studio installs. And when they admit to that, I take it very seriously. Uh, so so I have not spent a lot of time with uh, Dev14 to you know, to even estimate what kind of problems we're going to run into um, as far as, you know, like votive, you know. Remember in 3.8, you know, we just made the minimal changes. Same with 3.9. Um, 3.10 might be the same thing. Uh, we just have to make sure that everything still works well, you know. There'll be work to add Visual Studio 14 support um, you know, as far as libraries and, and things like that. But uh, that's pretty much it. You know, we'll take bug fixes and we can look at small features to see, you know, if there's decent value add there. Uh, but even though we're talking about next spring, I would love it if we were done, you know, uh, midwinter. You know, there's no reason. To, well, the, there's no, there's no reason we can't get closer than, than we've done in the past. Yeah. We can be quote unquote done just waiting for final validation from, you know, the uh, final bits of Windows and Visual Studio. And then we start our bake time and we ship in, you know, two weeks after that. Yeah. Um, you know, if, if by then we're all having loads of fun in, you know, 4.x, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no. The world will be a better place over there. All right. Anything else? Well, I mean, it better be. Otherwise, <laughs> we should just stay in 3x. But I think there's a lot of cool stuff that we can do in 4 that's hard to do in 3. So anything else? Anybody? Going, going? All right. Well, I guess we're going to call that a meeting. Um, a bit more exciting on the bug front than we'd hoped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But... Uh, it's good. I mean, it's better to find it now than later. When Absolutely. We fix it. Otherwise, we'll, 310 would no longer be the platform update. 310 would be the <laughs> fixing the thing we screwed up in 39. Yeah, yeah. Which I would rather we not be saying because that's never much fun. Nope. So, on that front, uh, I guess you guys get 20 minutes back in your schedule considering we started a little bit late. That's pretty awesome. So, uh, go forth, be prosperous, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I guess we'll talk in another week. Later. Bye.